Odds. Hello and welcome to another Easy Odds video cast. Today we're looking at the FA Cup matches over the weekend and yep. the big, biggest game which is on tonight between Derby and Man United. Um, we'll start off straight away with the big one. The big one. Derby v Man U. I'm waiting my luck for my entire life for this game. <laughs> I can't wait. We're going to win and then Van Howe's going to get sacked. Oh, it's going to be the start when we're going to start playing well again and we're going to get promoted. It's going to be this game. It's going to be the turning point of our season. Yeah. That's what I think anyway. What do you think? Yeah, well, this is actually a meeting of two very in... Uh, sorry, not in-form teams. The complete opposite. Out-of-form teams. Very um, out-of-form, indeed. Both of these teams cannot seem to buy a win. Man, I've only won two in nine. Derby, I've won one in six. Both teams struggling to pick up wins. So, even money on a Man United win looks... Fairly fair because they are the Premier League team going down to a Championship side yeah. um, against an out of form Derby side. Even though they are flying fairly high in the Championship overall yeah. this season, seventeen to five best price for a Derby win. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not sure how you feel about that price. Um, I feel okay about it, but not yeah. great. I mean, I don't. I mean, I think even money for a Man United win, to be on, to be honest, is a pretty good price. It's a pretty good price. Yeah. Been. Not very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, trouble afoot with both managers. Se- uh, seemingly, the fans are getting a, bit, a, a little bit restless with both yeah. managers at the moment. So um, maybe a drab nil nil, so that both managers get um, shouted out by both yeah, sets yeah, of yeah. fans. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, 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 I don't think that um, it will be a nil nil. I actually think that both teams t- to score here at twenty one to twenty is a pretty decent price. Um, Man United are called boring a lot of the time, and I can see why watching them play football, but they do like to concede goals away from home. At Old Trafford, they keep so many clean sheets there. Um, they they rarely let in more than one goal. Mm. Um, at at half-time. At yeah. home, yeah, yeah. the, uh, the uh, half-time, nil-nil yeah. um, correct score, I'm sure has won you <laughs> met much, much money this season already. Yeah. Um, but Man United, great at keeping clean sheets at home, not so great away. Only one clean sheet in their last seven away games. And Derby absolutely hoard strikers. They've got so many strikers on their books. I think they've got the same amount of strikers as my team, Bristol City, have in their whole squad. That's, yeah, that's um, probably actually true. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they've got a choice of uh, plenty of strikers um, for this match. All of them capable of scoring um, at this level. And even though you're in fairly poor form, listen, listen to this, Jake. At home, you've scored 24 goals in 14 games. Including four against Bristol City, so well done That's on very that. good as well. <laughs> um, so I think both teams to score here. Um, Derby are likely t- to score, and I think Man United probably will get on the, um, on the score sheet at some point. Um, 21 to 20, the, bo- the bookies are backing both teams not to score. Both teams not t- to score is available around 17 to 20. Mm-hmm. And, and I think the 21 to 20 on both teams t- to score here on a Friday night is pretty decent value. Yeah, I think both teams score. That's a, that's a, a, odds against is always good for both teams to score, yeah. especially when Derby are playing, because we yeah. let in a lot of goals and we score a lot of goals as well, especially recently. Yeah, so um, um, boring, boring Man United, but not this evening because yeah. they're going to score a goal, gonna be, as are the Rams. It's going to be six all. <laughs> Maybe not be, six all. And it's going to be one all <laughs> after 25 seconds. <laughs> Job done. Job done. Okay, next up we're going to... Colchester. I say, I, say it, I say it so little, I don't even know how to say it. People Col- of Essex are shouting at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, right. whatever. You know, Colchester versus, versus... I can't speak at all. <laughs> I've forgotten how to speak. Colchester versus Spurs. Colchester, probably letting more goals than anyone has ever let. They've let in so many goals in League One. They're not yep. doing well at all. Spurs have been brilliant recently. Kane's back at form. Deli Ali, that goal, my god. Wow, that goal. That was an absolute Once you finish screamer. watching this video, go back onto YouTube, mm. type in Deli Ali Crystal Palace. Well, and just keep that on. Just type in Deli Ali. I'll repeat. And it'll, yeah, just keep watching it. That's <laughs> what I did for hours and hours and hours. Just, well, how has he done that? We're going to win the Euros, right? Definitely. Yeah, that's it. That's the reaction that everyone had, and the, <laughs> including me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so th- uh, this match um, is the meeting of a team vying for the Premier League title in Tottenham. At two to five, which is fair enough because they are playing Colchester, who are bottom of the league, let, letting in goals for absolute fun. Eight to one best price mm. for a Colchester win here. Um, it, even that, that doesn't really tempt me. No. I'll, two I'll to honest. five tempts me in the accumulator. In the accumulator, That's absolutely. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so Tottenham won three in a row, including that incredible win over um, Crystal Palace with the absolutely brilliant goal by, by Deli Ali. Um, they've now won seven in their last 11 games, they're in great form, decent confidence running through the team after three wins on the bounce, whereas Colchester are on an absolutely terrible run at the moment. They've, they've actually lost 10 of their last 14 matches. 
Um, but I think that over 3.5 goals here at 21 to 20 is a decent shout. Mm. Um, as you alluded to, Colchester yeah. love to concede goals. They've actually conceded 21 goals in their last 10 home games. Um, oh. so, uh, so even being at home doesn't seem to help um, Colchester at the moment. <laughs> that is a um, they're, as I said, they're bottom of the league in League One, mm-hmm. clearly struggling for confidence, even with the likes of Darren Ambrose in their squad, who I absolutely love Darren Ambrose. He's good name. Um, but yeah, um, Tottenham, um, nine, um, nine wins, sorry, nine goals in three games, so that's clear yeah, yeah. that they're scoring goals mm-hmm. for fun. Even if they play a fairly weakened team, they're second string team are pretty confident at the moment um, and, and I fancy them to score a hat full of goals and actually with Jan Vertonghen likely to miss out through injury that will help our bet as well because um, he's a key defensive player and as I have mentioned Colchester have, have got Darren Ambrose and, he's got, and he'll score a free kick <laughs> trust me trust me <laughs> there's no doubt about it there's just no doubt about it that Darren Ambrose has scored a free kick that's, a, that's what he's for that's what he does that's what he does that's what he does he, he's done it for years and he's still yeah, doing yeah, yeah, it yeah 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 so <laughs> okay right yeah so decent yep all round decent all round decent yeah. moving on to Saturday afternoon's moving game moving on to Saturday afternoon's game Premier League clash Liverpool versus West Ham Liverpool I mean they've, they're doing well in both cups at the moment they've obviously got Big win in the um, Carling Cup recently. Yeah. Uh, Klopp lost his mind. <laughs> lost, his, his lost his glasses. <laughs> broke his glasses. That's oh, so funny. That bit. The slow motion video of Klopp celebrating is great. He's such <laughs> such good TV in here. Yeah, Klopp he's is. he's brilliant to yeah. watch. Yeah, sometimes it's better to watch than his actual team. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think maybe they should have a Klopp cam instead. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it, I think if Klopp, if it was someone else in manager of Liverpool, they'd be like oh, a bit annoyed, wouldn't they? <laughs> I'll, 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 it, because it's Klopp, everyone's just like, yes, we're still yes. amazing, just because it's Klopp. Doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> Liverpool versus West Ham. What's the best bet here, obviously? Well, I've been looking at the match odds for this match, in particular the full time result. Liverpool 11 to 10. N- not having that at all. No. Um, Liverpool are below West Ham in the Premier League. They've lost to them twice already this season, and they're 11 to 10 to beat them, with West Ham at 3 to 1. That's mental. That is, that's crazy. <laughs> Have, what? <laughs> um, so yeah, I, um, I actually think that West Ham c- can get something out of this game yet again against Liverpool. Um, L- Liverpool, of course, will be up for revenge after the two previous losses to them. But backing West Ham in the Asian handicap plus 0.5. Ooh, which, exotic. Exotic, yeah. absolutely. Which means um, that you win this bet as long as Liverpool don't win the match. Mm. Um, West Ham have lost just one of their last 11 matches. Um, they've won away from home already against Liverpool and against Man City and against Arsenal. They're a decent team away from home. Dimitri Parrot is back in their team after injury. That's important. Um, Liverpool have only won two of their last seven games, mm-hmm. including losing to Stoke in midweek. Um, ten, like, over 90 minutes, they lost the game. So, yeah. if, so if you backed Stoke to win that game, you'd have won your money. Um, granted, they went on to lose on penalties, which was a bit... Was a bit harsh on them, but that's football. Um, yeah, six to five on backing Liverpool not to win this game against a bit of a bogey team for them this season. Yeah, a, a, actually a very good team in, in West Ham. Mm-hmm. I think that's a really good price on uh, them in the Asian handicap. That's really nice, and it's got Asian handicap in there. And you can say I would like to place a bet on the Asian yeah, handicap. Yeah, yeah, and look really quite <laughs> quite the gambler. <laughs> okay, then now we're going to Carlisle. Settled in mid-table in League Two against yep. Everton, who uh, uh, obviously got to the semi-final of the um, uh, bloody League Cup. Bit unlucky, but yep. um, what do you reckon is going to happen here? Well, this is the one that I could see a little bit of romance happening, um, because of the backstory and, and FA Cup always throws up amazing romantic stories. Yeah. And Carlisle obviously um, had that awful period every Christmas with the flooding. Brunton yeah, yeah. Park was underwater. They, the, They've been having to play their matches away from the ground mm. in um, Blackpool recently. Okay. Um, their home games have, have been played at Blackpool. Um, but they're back at Br- Brenton Park for this one. Premier League opposition comes t- t- to town. It just sets itself up. It's almost like a Hollywood film yeah. already. <laughs> um, yeah. Martinez is on the rocks a little bit at, at Everton. Um, they just can't seem to, to see out a win. They uh, take the lead and then they seem to throw it away every single time. And Martinez seems to constantly blame referees at the moment, which is something that he's never really been no, yeah. likely to do. And I think no. that the pressure is starting to show a little bit, and the fans are starting to turn him a little bit. Um, and, on, and on the back of a League Cup semi-final loss here, where 
that that may well have been their last chance of getting silverware. Of course, they're still in the FA Cup, but yeah. they're still in, but it's still a long haul here. We're in the, in the fourth round at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do see um, some value in a small stake on um, Carlisle at twenty five to four to win this game. Okay. Um, but h- however, I do think um, nine to five on Everton to win and both teams to score could well be your winner. Mm. Um, Carlisle have scored thirteen goals in the last eight games, proving that they don't find it hard to find the net. Um, and Everton just leak too many goals at the moment. They keep on throwing away leads. Um, they've only kept seven clean sheets all season long. And Carlisle proved when they played at Anfield this season, they got a 1-1 draw yeah. at, at Anfield. They uh, scored a, a very nice goal in that game um, away from home that they can take it to the big boys, um, as mm-hmm. the Premier League boys like to be called. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think 9-5 to on Everton to win and both teams t- to score at 9-5. to That's a pretty decent price there. Oh, yeah, cool. That's good. That's a good one. Um, a nice also, a little um, caveat t- t- to that. Um, anytime goal scorer, um, Aruna Kone, um, he... He normally plays in cup competitions for Everton, um, as he did in the third round where he scored against Dagenham and Redbridge, up against lower league opposition again here. Across the board, pretty much odds on to score in this game. Bet365 goes 7-5, to five. that's a really good price. Okay, um, yeah. Use our um, Easy Odds odds comparison service at, at all times to try and get the best price. I do, certainly for my, for my anytime scorers for this exact reason. Hmm. Almost across the whole board is um, odds on, so it's kind of a four to five kind of shot. Yeah, that's whereas, a perfect um, example, isn't it? Whereas Bet Fifty Five goes seven to five. So check out uh, the best odds on EasyOdds.com. Yeah, and to say, do you not think Lukaku will start, or do you think both will start? I think probably Kone will start. Yeah, yeah. he's been off, he's been a bit off form recently as well, hasn't he, Lukaku? Yeah. Since yeah. obviously comparing to his like he was ridiculously good before. Yeah, the then. whole Vardy versus yeah, Lukaku yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. He would not score. <laughs> Vardy's back. The bang. Vardy's back the weekend. The bang. Okay, last game we're going to look at is MK Dons versus Chelsea. Chelsea have, uh, under Hiddink, have turned it around a little bit. They've played quite a lot better. They won at the weekend. Big, big, big win. Um, MK Dons are struggling in the championship, but they've managed to work their way out of the re- relegation zone. Um, yeah. And obviously they destroyed Man United a couple of seasons They really ago. did, yeah. yeah. So what, 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 what's going to happen here, Ross? Um, well, I'm really sorry, MK Dons fans, but I can't see anything here other than a win to nil for Chelsea. Um, actually, just outside that window is the Chelsea Hotel, and just yesterday we saw Alexander oh, yeah. Pato in his little hat. With, Getting with, interviewed. Which is pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, and he might play in this game um, if he's passed um, by that time. Um, but win to nil. Um, Chelsea have kept four clean sheets in the last five away games. Goose hitting because really tight, uh, tighten them up and that means that they're hard to beat and that's proved true because they're actually unbeaten now in eight games. He's uh, starting to play uh, Matic and Obi Mikel, which sounds really boring and it is quite boring, but it <laughs> keeps teams from scoring goals because they're not likely to bomb too far forward. They give pr- mm. um, protection to a back four of Chelsea that have been really struggling this year. So that's given them a better setting ground to have their attacking players actually use their flair and actually win games rather than losing games 3-2 and 3-1 yeah. and, and the like at the start of the season. So to win to nil here looks a decent price. Um, um, MK Dons have actually lost already 11 times to nil this season, proving that um, sometimes they do lose to, to nil. Um, <laughs> <laughs> more than sometimes, actually. That's actually quite a, that's actually quite a lot. It's, something about, it's almost like a third, I think, of their yeah, matches yeah, yeah. Th- uh, this season. And up against a Chelsea team that are just rampant at the moment. Mm. Um, Confidence is high. Obviously, they beat um, Arsenal. Um, to t- these are all two nil. They uh, beat Arsenal to nil. They drew with um, Tottenham and Man United nil nil, proving that they can go away and just shut up shop. And yeah. I think that the MK Dons will struggle to score a goal against Chelsea yeah. on uh, Sunday, mm-hmm. um, even with one of my favourite ever players, Nicky Maynard, in, 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 in MK Dons white. Um, but yeah. Um, if you do fancy MK Dons here, I don't personally, but you may. Um, <laughs> you can get again so much, such better prices with EasyOds.com. Um, some people have them at eight to one, but the best price twenty one to two. That's such a big difference. Yeah, that's, huge. that's over ten to one um, best price, and other people have them at eight to one. So make sure that you use the Easy Odds odds comparison service to get your best odds, whether that's on the desktop site, the mobile site, or our new app. Mm-hmm. 
The app's great as well. Really good app. Yeah. Where you can place your multiples now and see which um, bookmaker offers the best price for your multiples also, which is yeah. a great service. That's, that's actually really, really handy as well. So if you put all of these in the, the app, uh, it will compare each bookmaker who has the best yeah. uh, accumulated price. So, so And the difference is mental. It's, it's yeah. crazy some of the accumulators. So if you like putting your accumulators on, make sure you use the app. Yeah. So... Um, Thanks for listening, and I hope that you have a good betting weekend and that your team wins if you're still in the Cup, unlike my team, who will be playing a championship game. And my team will be in the Cup, because we're going to be my United. <laughs>